everyone! Welcome to Tent Pegging, Canada first virtual introductory clinic. My name is Sarah Mossi, I'm an international certified coach and I will go with you through it. Tent Pegging is an ancient cavalry sport. The term tent pegging is certainly related to the idea that cavaliers attacking an enemy camp on their horses, using their spears or swords to uproot tent pegs, causing tents collapsed. Tent pegging as an equestrian sport is simply having a mounted equestrian riding a gallop, using a sword or lance to pick up and carry away a small brown target. Pigs nowadays, according to the International Tent Pegging Federation standards, are made of cardboard layers. It has to be in a visible color with a diameter of 11.8 length and width of 2.4 or 1.5 in inches. There are many events of tent pegging individually and teams. However, in this video, as it is an introductory clinic, we will focus more on the simple drill of sword and lance individual runs. As safety comes first, while practicing tent pegging, you have to wear all your equestrian safety gears. You may also wear a body protector if you want to. At your first session, as a beginner, the instructor will show you how to touch your sword or lance if you lost control over the horse and you find the need to use both hands. But here, we will show you how to handle your equipment in a safe way while riding to keep yourself, your horse and your teammates safe. Before you start your run, you have to take a position in a straight line with the pig, whether you're doing lance or sword. The first stage of sword drill is safety. The sword should be carried on your shoulder and elbow close to the side. Please note that any other way of handling the sword is not safe. You have to keep this position until you start your run. The second stage is present. In that stage, you start to stand on your stirrup, presenting your sword pointing to the peg while the edge of your sword will be outside. The third stage is salute, where you salute the judges by turning the sword having the edge downward. The fifth stage is impact, where you have to lower the point of your sword in an even sweep to pick up the peg. The final stage is recovery. Whether you carried the peg or not, the sword will be swung behind your shoulder and raised up high pointing to the sky. And remember, never let your eyes away from the tip of your sword. Bring your sword to the front in a half circle close to the horse body, so the sword ending horizontal and straight while you're trying to slow down your horse. Before reaching full halt, the sword should be returned back to the first position on your shoulder. Also in lance drill, the first stage is safety. There are two positions of safety in lance. Position number one is safety in approach, where the tip of the lance pointing to the left ear of the horse, hand resting on your thigh and elbow close to the side. The second stage is present. After starting your run, bring your lance to a vertical position and extend your arm straight ahead. The third stage is impact. At this stage, lower the lance in an even sweep to pick up the pick. The final stage of lance drill is recovery. Also here, whether you carry the pig or not, 
the lens will be swung behind your shoulder and raised up high pointing to the sky and never let your eyes away from the tip of your lens. Bring your lens to the front in a half circle close to the horse body so the lens ending horizontal and lens tap pointing to the left ear of the horse. Meanwhile, you are trying to slow down your horse. After reaching full halt, put the lens in a vertical position which is safety position number two in which the tap of the lens will be pointing up and the back of the lens resting on your stirrup or on your shoe.